Super Mario Brothers Wonder has been a game that I have been looking forward to for a very long time, even before the game even was announced. I have been hoping for a new traditional 2D Mario game, I mean, since the Wii U back in 2012 when new Super Mario Brothers U came out. Reason why I think that this is going to be probably one of the biggest Mario games of all time is because of how well they are taking something that we know and love and making it more expressive, more lively, and more just better than ever. Another thing I need to clarify is that, you know, I grew up with a Nintendo DS, like, since the early days of freaking kindergarten. When I first played my Nintendo DS that I got for, like, a birthday gift or from just a family gift, uh, one of the first games that I ever played in general was New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. And, God, I tell you, when I beat that game for the first time, I... I just knew for a fact, like, oh, this is something that I love. This is a series I instantly fell in love with the second I started playing it. And just for Nintendo to realize how big of a deal the 2D Mario traditional formula is and making it just better than they did before was was insane i never thought that nintendo would go above and beyond like that ever again after the new super mario brothers phase when everything was just kind of just bland and nothing really too innovative because you know the new super mario brothers series was just it was fun like for the first two games but then when they revealed like the 3ds game in 2012 which was new super mario brothers 2 and then they also released New Super Mario Bros. U. They were like the same year. I was kind of confused, but I was a dumbass elementary kid. I didn't really care because <laughs> I used to watch so many so many YouTubers play those games even before I could get my hands on them because I was having to wait till Christmas to get a Wii U or, you know, had to save up an allowance to get the other one. But uh, the reason why Super Mario Bros. Wonder is just so important to me is that it is never i've never thought that it would be a game that would ever like come out in recent times i feel like they would have just saved the game they would have just saved wonder for the next nintendo console which it's rumored to be next year in 2024 but yeah just the whole like i i can't even explain where to go with it like the, the second we saw the art style for the game, you could tell it was, for me, it was more like a Mario and Luigi type, like Dream Team type of aesthetic that they were going for. And I knew for a fact, like, when they were talking about the Flower Kingdom, they were obviously having it substitute from, or kind of like a sequel from the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, there was a separate world. And I knew that, you know, when... Shigeru Miyamoto and everybody from the Mario team was trying something new. They wanted to just swing that motherfucker out of the ballpark. Like, they knew that they could do something really, really fun. And they went all chaos with it. And I know for a fact that this... I For, for example, like... Breath of the Wild was my first ever Zelda game. And when they announced a sequel to that, which was Tears of the Kingdom... I was beyond, like, hyped because, like, I never expected them to actually continue the Breath of the Wild formula. Obviously, that was that's the new staple for the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, but another thing about that was I knew it was coming. I knew Tears of the We all knew that Tears of the Kingdom was coming out once they revealed a sequel for it. But I was able to hold my patience because I it was going to be a sequel to the Breath of the Wild series rather than a new type of formula for the Zelda series. So I was pretty patient with that over the years when they were finishing up that and it took like what six years development. But this game in particular, Mario Wonder, they could have announced this game like last year at E3. 
but they decided to announce it this year and give us a smaller window of a wait. But that that window of a wait was just for me right now is just insane because I just really want to play it and I know people have their hands on it right now uh, or have played like the demo version of the game. But, you know, that small window from when they announced it back in June up until the 20th of, uh, of 20th of October, um, man, it is, I'm just inching to play it because, you know, I, ugh. But anywho, um, no, it, it really is something that I have really needed as of right now. Um, personally, uh, I've kind of just been starting my second year of college just like on my own. And for me to just experience the 2D Mario in my college setting and also just replenishing that one of my favorite like one of my favorite things of all time was 2D Mario, and for that to finally happen, rather than Mario Maker, because it was a, it, that was kind of its own thing, but for me to experience a brand new 2D Mario as a full adult now is just it's it's mesmerizing, and it's going to be an experience that I will not forget. And yeah, I. I'm going to be playing this game. I'm going to be streaming this game. I'm going to be making content on this game. Like, you know, like even Mario Odyssey I enjoyed. But, you know, that was about, what, six years ago from a new traditional Mario game. But having a brand new... Just just waiting patiently. And we're getting so many more Mario games like Mario RPG and Mario Thousand Year Door Remake. Just... Nintendo is listening to so many of the mario fans like especially during covid when there wasn't a time window for a lot of stuff like that but now i feel like nintendo is really coming back strong and i think that it's really gonna pay off in the end so yeah that's it see you guys later